Good day, guys. We are talking about Database as a developer or a programmer, this is a common term you have to be familiar with. What is a database? A database is like a cabinet where you store data, you organize data, and you as well retrieve those data. By retrieving, you get back the data you have stored there. I want you to see that you can store data either as wet as numbers or as pictures. Imagine having a library where you have a store of your data. Like I said, it could be your name, it could be your sex, age, email address, where you live. So these are types of data you can store. I want you to visualize it as going to a library. A library where you have millions of books and you just want to search for Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Roberts. That is a specific book. So that is more like a data. The library is like a database where you store those data and you as a user, you go there to retrieve that data. You let me understand that. And I also want you to get it more like in a school. You have a set of students in that school and you will need to keep track of the student attendance, the classroom they are in and their sets. If you have a hundred students in that school, you already have the data which you can store in a database. So a database is like a library or a cabinet where you have this data stored. And again, if you are building a website for an organization and you have a thousand visitors visit that website in a month, then you should know that you will be storing a thousand information because if they are coming in, they need to put in their name, they need to put in their email address, they need to put in maybe uh, their sex phone numbers, which is very important. These are the details you store in databases. I'll just go a little into the types of databases. Have relational database. What do I mean by relational database? Remember, as a backend developer, this is your niche. But as a developer, generally, or front-end backend, you should be familiar with this. Relational database is like storing that data in a spreadsheet. I know you have heard about Excel before. Storing that data in rows and colon in a table. That is what you call relational database. My SQL and Postgre SQL. These are programming language that these on relational database. Then you have the no SQL, the no SQL databases. In no SQL databases, you say flexible, no tabular format of storing data. No tabular. Remember here in relational we are storing data in tables of rows or what? Color. But here in no SQL database, you are storing data in non-tabular format. You can guess we have the MongoDB and Cassandra. So these are non-SQL databases languages you should be familiar with. That's two. For the third one, permit me to bring it here. You have what we call the, the cloud database. In case you are storing those information, those data on the remote. Example, you have AWS, Amazon Web Services. Then you have the Google Cloud and Google Cloud SQL. So these are examples of cloud databases that help you store information. This is just first part of this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.